Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Steady Junction and in this video we are going to see the in-text questions of sound chapter for class 9. So let's see them. How does the sound produced by a vibrating object in a medium reach your ear? Now, uh, sound produce, produced by a vibrating object reaches our ear through sound waves which propagate through the medium as a series of compressions and rarefactions. So this is the answer for your first question and the second question is very similar to the first one. Explain how sound is produced by your school bell. So when the school bell is struck with a hammer, it starts vibrating and as a result of these vibrations, sound waves are produced. Now due to continuous vibrations, sound waves will produce. Why are sound waves called mechanical waves? Waves which need a material medium for propagation are called mechanical waves. Since sound waves also need a material medium for propagation, these are called mechanical waves. Right? So, uh, other description is also mentioned here. But if you write uh, till this part, then it's okay. Suppose you and your friend are on the moon. Will you be able to hear any sound produced by your friend? So, since sounds, sound waves need a material medium for their propagation and as there is no atmosphere on the moon, so one cannot hear the sound produced by another person on the surface of moon. Which wave property determines loudness and pitch? So, loudness is determined by the amplitude and pitch is by frequency. So, loudness by amplitude and pitch by frequency. Guess which has a higher pitch, a guitar or a car horn? A guitar obviously has a higher pitch than a car horn prov uh, provided the guitar is properly tuned. What are wavelength, frequency, time period and amplitude of a sound wave? So, I will just uh, show the solution. So these are the solutions, uh, see you have the amplitudes definition, you have oscillation, frequency, units of frequency, then you have your time period, wavelength, so I hope these are clear and uh, write as per your NCRT textbook, okay, so let's see the next question now. So the next question is how are the wavelength and frequency of a sound wave related to its speed? Now it's very important question. Uh, you you are also you can also be asked about the derivation. So speed of sound is equal to frequency into wavelength, right? Calculate the wavelength of a sound wave whose frequency is 220 hertz and speed is 440 meter per second in a given given medium. Now we already studied the formula speed of sound is equal to frequency into wavelength. So frequency we are given 220 hertz speed is 440 meter per second so uh, wavelength would be equal to speed upon uh, sorry wavelength would be equal to speed upon frequency so 2 meter a person a person is listening listening to a tone of 500 hertz sitting at a distance of 4 meter uh, 450 meter from the source of the sound what is the time interval between successive compressions from the source? Now you are given the frequency. So we know that time period is equal to 1 by frequency. So it would be 1 by 500 seconds. Let's see the next uh, question now. So the next question is distinguish between loudness and intensity of sound. So I'll just show the solution now. So this is basically the solution, loudness and intensity, you are given the difference. So let's see the next question now. Next up, in which of the three media, the air, water or iron, the sound travel the fastest at a particular temperature? So sound travels the fastest in iron which is a solid medium. You should know that in solids the sound travels the fastest. An echo is returned in 3 seconds. What is the distance of the reflecting surface from the sources given that the speed of sound is 342 meter per second? Now you are given the speed, you are given the time and since uh, distance would be twice because uh, it's an echo, right? So distance is equal to speed into time. So twice the distance would be equal to uh, 513 meter the distance would be 513 meter. Now, another important question you have, which generally comes in the exam. Why are the ceilings of concert 
halls curved so the healings of uh, ceilings of the concert ho halls are curved to ensure that after reflection from the ceilings sound reaches all corners of the hall what is the audible range of the average human ear so it is 20 hertz to 20000 hertz next up is what is the range of frequencies associated with infrasound ultrasound so with infrasound less than 1 hertz to 20 hertz and with the ultrasound 2 into 10 raised to power 4 hertz to 10 raised to power 10 hertz now next last question is a numerical so a submarine emits a sonar pulse which returns from an speed of sound in water is 1531 meter per second how far away is the cliff now you will uh, know the distance that is 2d time you are given and speed is given so distance is equal to speed into time so 2d is equal to speed into time and after solving it you will get the answer as 780.81 meter so these were all the in-text questions for your sound chapter i would see you all in the next video